Are you picking this up? Good. I know you need more deep background, but we're up against it. Nod forces have fortified this beachhead at X-16Y42. Intelligence is still coming in, so we can't tell you a lot. But we found a chink in their armor. Commander Carter can sneak you and some backup forces on shore right here. You may get some artillery support from his gunboats, but this is mostly grunt work. Your mission is simple. Knock out all fortifications, eliminate all Nod troops, and establish a beachhead by building your base. Good luck. Good job with the beachhead, Commander. It's time to bring you up to speed on Nod so you know what you're dealing with. This is Kane, the self-appointed leader of the Brotherhood of Nod. Stand by, I'll link us up. Condition critical. Know why Nod had this beach bottled up? They're protecting the big Tiberium refinery that intelligence somehow missed. We need backup now. Not troops are pouring out of their base, strangling our foothold. We gotta knock out that refinery, eliminate all Nod forces before we lose our position. I don't know how long we can hold out. Damn. You heard the man. What are you waiting for? I know I promised more deep background on Kane and Nod, but there'll be time for that later. Carter says you hit the ground fighting. Nice job. Now we need that again. Somewhere in this section is a Nod base. It's protected against airstrikes by Nod SAM sites. Knock them out so Colonel Morelli can provide air support. That should make it easier for you to take out the base. I'll be out of the loop for a couple of days doing civvy time at the UN. Don't let me down. Sanctioned by the United Nations, the Global Defense Initiative has one goal. Eliminate multinational terrorism in an effort to preserve freedom. The Brotherhood of Nod, an ancient and secret society, maintains strong ties with most global terrorist organizations. Commanded by this man, known only as Kane, Nod's long-term goals are unknown. However, recent activities include expansionary behavior into disenfranchised nations, high-volume investment in global trade markets, and aggressive manipulation of international mass media. 
These efforts are suspected to be funded by Nod's access to vast Tiberian deposits. Tiberium continues to confound the scientific community, soaking up ground minerals and soil nutrients like a sponge. The end result of this unique leaching process creates the formation of Tiberium crystals, rich in precious metals and available for collection with a minimum of mining expense. Delta Sierra Echo to Commander, approaching our next objectives. We're just crossing the Bolaris border and we've got a problem. Nod ambushed one of our convoys and made off with a good supply of activated pellet rods. Sounds harmless, right? Well, those rods are step one in slapping together a nuclear device. We gotta get him back. Shepard's still offline, so we're acting without confirmation, but I'm betting that this is too important to wait. Take a small force into the Noddy camp and get those rods back before their birds can pick them up. The rods were packed in transport crates. I doubt Nod's had time to transfer them, but who knows. Keep your eyes open. Give them hell. War-torn Bialystok, once a happy farming town for peace-loving peasants. Today, a slaughterhouse. Yet one more casualty in the insane GDI assault against mankind. Yet another in a series of villages wiped off the earth by the Global Defense Initiative and its misguided leader, General Mark Shepard. And what crime did Bialystok commit to warrant said carnage? Sources indicate that GDI terrorists were convinced that this simple hamlet was involved in the manufacture and shipping of Tiberium. When will this madness end? Only one General Shepard in his vision of one world order is stopped. This is Greg Burdett, Bialystok. Cut. Excellent. Now, do it again in French and German. I want 300 copies made and sent to every TV station in Europe. We have the satellite for another 10 minutes. Is that camera still running? It's a lie, all of it. GDI wouldn't slaughter children. Was Bialystok a Tiberium Center? Isn't this another incident of GDI reacting to incorrect information? Any comment? Should GDI funding be cut?
Nod forces severely damaged GDI base in your area. Critical shortage of weapons and manpower. Find GDI base and return it to operational status. that you get this infantry commando across the Making sure to avoid all the Just enough time to plan to get the hell back out. Hunt. Don't bother with Was there confusion with that last directive? We wanted you to take everything out, but Nod's still there. We can supply you with full force now, but it's imperative that this mission be completed. Wipe out Nod presence using all available forces. Oh, and FYI, institute maximum care when transporting captured Tiberium. It seems to display negative effects on some individuals. Out. news and opinion. Six critical items transmitted. Ground and air skirmishes between Nod and GDI forces escalated today when Nod, reacting to recent GDI funding cuts, launched a full-scale ground attack against GDI troops in Africa. GDI spokesmen continue to deny rumors of continued weapons tests involving orbiting laser cannons capable of leveling entire armies in seconds. Exclusive photos smuggled out of the World Tiberium Research Center show evidence of serious ecological consequences in Tiberium-rich areas. Whether these unusual effects on plant life have any relationship to recent reports of Tiberium poisoning in humans remains to be seen. And the death toll so far? God only knows. This is Greg Burdett, standing in front of what GDI terrorists have left for the St. Olofsky Orphanage. Don't look so surprised, Commander. And don't look around for your Eva, it can't help you now. Well, what shall we talk about, hmm? Your powerful GDI forces have been emasculated, and you yourself are a killer of children. Now, of course, it's not true. 
But the world only believes what the media tells them to believe. And I tell the media what to believe. It's really quite simple. Oh, there's your little pet. But now that I know where you live, Commander, it's only a matter of time. Were I in your shoes, I would spend my last earthly hours enjoying the world. Of course, if you wish, you can spend them fighting for a lost cause. But you know that you've lost. Defense Condition Field Briefing GDI equipment in Area 18 is in urgent need of repair. This mission is of great tactical importance. Nod forces still threaten Salzburg. GDI needs to establish headquarters for rapid GDI deployment. Your mission, repair as many ground weapons, armored vehicles, and buildings as possible. Welcome to the big time, Commander. You haven't really arrived until Kane has sicked his media ninjas on you at least once. I'm pinch hitting for Shepard since no one's really sure where he is right now. It's the wrong time to take a vacation. We're down about 60% manpower from the tea poison. Now here's your objective. You got the Hiverian River running through here about six knots, okay? And here, and here, you got Nod Bunkers. Here's what I need from you, pal. Take out the bunkers so I can get my convoy through at 0200. You might create a little guerrilla diversion along the way, just in case some of the Noddies don't get the message. Just enough to cover me until I get into range of their power base. Then all you have to do is sit back and watch the fireworks as my team shows them what kick ass is really all about. Right her out. Attention. Stand by for Tiberium Dangers update. Tiberium is named after the Tiber River in Italy where it was first discovered. There are now more than 200 areas of the Earth affected by Tiberium deposits. Tiberium appears to be spreading by means of conveyance unknown. Dr. Mobius, tell our viewers just what Tiberium really is. Molecularly, it's a non-carbon-based element that appears to have strong ferrous qualities with non-resonating reversible energy that has a tendency to disrupt carbon-based molecular structures with inconsequent and in, in, uh, unequal positrons orbiting on the first, second, and ninth quark rings. Whoa, is that good or bad? Ooh, well, let me put it this way, Eddie. The possibilities of Tiberium are limitless.
Well, um, now let me ask you, by limitless, you said that... Uh, we now know that not only does Tiberium leach elements from the soil, but it appears to also leach vital nutrients from all plant life. Human contact with Tiberium is extremely toxic and often fatal. Exposure should be avoided. Commander, you've been hustled. The UN wasn't against me. Not all of them, at least. But we had to play that little game to lull Kane into a false sense of security. I've unlocked some new UN funding. It should help take care of this madman for good. Morelli, we got some new toys for you. You've read the classified briefings about Orca, and here she is. I need you and Morelli to take a couple of these babies up and put them through the mill. Concentrate on a radius of 50 miles around Trieste, Sylvania, and see what you can scout up. Commander, the stakes have risen. One of our operatives, codenamed Delphi, stopped transmitting just as he was about to reveal the location of Kane's research center. He's experimenting with Tiberium, injecting the stuff into human guinea pigs. Delphi also has routes and times of the top secret convoy Kane's taken to Bosnia. Once you've landed on this beach and fought your way through non-security, find Delphi and Kane hasn't killed him. Get his information. Over and out. GDI-funded research shows the following incidents of Tiberium-related illnesses. Respiratory ailments. Reproductive ailments. Immune system ailments. Tiberium related deaths. Spores emitted by Tiberium infected plants appear to be a source of Tiberium related illnesses. The world scientific community is focusing its research on this deadly spore. Tiberium is a new life form. Quite simply put, it seems to be adapting the Earth's terrain, foliage, and environment to suit its own alien nature. If this is the case, ladies and gentlemen, we are facing a killer beyond that of our most turbulent nightmares. It is not an exaggeration to state that the future of the entire planet may be in jeopardy. May God have mercy on our souls. Sorry to interrupt your briefing, Commander, but we need your help now. Kane discovered we were hiding Mobius, and he's throwing everything at us but the kitchen sink. It's up to you to mobilize the strike force. Acquire Mobius, and rendezvous with the rescue choppers. Mobius may be crazy, but he holds the key to this Tiberium riddle. Good luck. This is what it's all about. We've cornered Kane in his biochemical research laboratory. Fight your way to the lab and level it. Intelligence informs us that Kane's on site, so complete destruction is imperative. This ought to help. 
The boys at R&D have completed preliminary testing on the ion cannon, the next generation of strategic defense armaments. Its geosynchronous orbit gives it a target divergence factor of 8 to 1. It's an awesome weapon, the most powerful in our arsenal. You fought long and hard, Commander, and it's all come down to this. We're with you. Good luck. I owe you an apology, Commander. I got it wrong. Kane ducked out of the lab when he lost our satellite feed. He's slippery, but his days are numbered. His troops are squeezing through this ravine right here, apparently in an attempt to regroup with Prime HQ. If you're quick enough, you can pick off the entire Nod column as they roll through, while our field strategists plot the location of that main base. It's fish in a barrel time, Commander. We found him, Commander. Kane's temple and base of operations. <sighs> this field operative's covert transmission came to us live just five minutes ago. So there's no doubt that Kane's inside. He surrounded himself with his own crack militia Getting to him won't be easy. Ironic, isn't it? Kane's planted his temple just outside of Sarajevo. If that sounds familiar, it's because that's where another madman started World War I. And here we are, trying to stop this madman from doing it again. Commander, there is to be no quarter given. No leniency in dealing with Cain and his zealots. Wipe his temple off the face of the earth. Destroy the bastard. Or prepare to die trying. I... Uh, we've taken serious. The temple's been blown all to hell. We need to get out of here before... Sir, Topside has suffered significant damage. Structural integrity has been compromised. I estimate GDI will have access to this command center in approximately 20 minutes. United Nations spokesmen have confirmed that massive destruction to the alleged Sarajevo headquarters of the world terrorist organization known as the Brotherhood of Nod 
was the direct result of an orbiting satellite weapon described by officials as an ion cannon. Destruction of the site ended a three-day siege, which saw GDI and NOD forces engaged in mortal combat. Eyewitnesses and survivors report that the skirmish may have continued for weeks had it not been for the awesome offensive power of the satellite-based air-to-land cannon. Quoting from a prepared statement issued earlier today, UN Secretary of Defense Dr. Charles Olivetti confirmed that heavy casualties were sustained by NOD forces. However, the use of the Star Wars technology cut GDI and civilian losses to, quote, technically acceptable levels, unquote. Contradicting earlier UN Security Council denials, Dr. Olivetti confirmed that the ion cannon has, in fact, been under development for several years. Discovery and destruction of the Nod Command Center ends more than three years of continued escalating violence sparked by that organization.